Good news is seemingly on the horizon for Insurgency Sandstorm console players. Uh, the new update is now officially scheduled to be released on December 8th, which is uh, going to be next week. So let's take a quick peek um, at what they're talking about fixing and uh, maybe what we hope to see fixed the most. So just a little earlier today, Insurgency's Twitter handle released uh, this tweet saying that console players will be getting the, the new update with Warlord content as well as some bug fixes and crash issues, crash fixes uh, on December 8th. And it says patch notes will be available later in the week, which might be just be coming with the actual patch itself. Um, it would be nice to see what they plan to be patching before we get it, just so we have an idea of what to expect. Um, but Warlord content was something that a lot of you wanted, and that's great. Um, so this will be fun to dive into on consoles for the first time, uh, getting to play this new stuff. Um, now, some bug fixes it doesn't really tell us a whole ton. I, I know that there are a handful, um, but there are maybe two or three particularly that are going to be looked at as being the most important to be fixed. So as, as we've talked about here before, the crouch bug where you can't crouch unless you stand up straight first, that would be great to see fixed just from a gameplay standpoint because this is the one that kind of can ruin your day pretty quickly um, if you're having if you're in a position where you're, you're holding down something and and you need to lay down well you better be standing already um, so that'd be great to see if that gets fixed um, some other minor things obviously the audio bug is, has been annoying for a lot of people I understand that um, I wouldn't hold my breath on that one though just being that that's still an issue um, across all platforms including PC the other one that I think is a major one, even though it's not gameplay, it is a big deal because so many people spent money for it, is downloadable content, uh, particularly for Xbox users um, who purchased uh, you know, either premium or deluxe package editions and have not gotten any of that content that they got that they they bought, you know, whether it be weapon skins or players or player, you know, cam camos. Um, would, that would be a good one to, to get fixed just from you know a consumer a happiness uh, you know perspective um, so we'll have to see what they do with that um, I know there's multiple other ones too but I think that gameplay wise those are two of the bigger ones there's also that uh, that one that occurs where uh, enemy players look like friendly players um, that is also a pretty pretty big one as far as just the game working well for you and, and you knowing what you're looking at and or uh, the buttons in the game working right so those are the big guys, I think. Um, it'd be nice to see everything fixed, but that doesn't happen overnight, obviously. So um, I think if they could narrow it down to those three things, that would be wonderful, and then work on the rest of it as they go. But then obviously the number one thing they have to be working on and hopefully have come to s come up with something that is at least a little better than what we have right now is for PS4 and Xbox One users is having some stability uh, fixes. and. I know a few people have said that their Xbox One is fine, but I, you know, you're not you're not in the majority of people. I'm just telling you that. Um, I, I search around the internet and, and talk to a lot of different people. You would be in the minority of, of folks who are not having any kind of stability issues, even if your Xbox One doesn't crash all the time. PS4 users are having that issue as well. So that's the big one, the number one thing I think they have to have addressed, and hopefully they will have. So let's wait and see. We've got uh, six days to find out. So enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll come back a little bit later and check this stuff out.